Hey everybody, it's Robin with Uniquely Robins. Um, I just wanted to do a flip through of the completed journal from Arabella's kit, um, mainly because the last video I did of finishing this up, um, somehow it's gotten lost. Um, and I didn't get it up there before it got lost. So um, I did want to show you the flip through so you can see what I did do to it. I'm gonna open it up flat for you. Um, so we added this tassel to it, and it has some little uh, charms on it. There's a dragonfly, a butterfly, and a flower. There's another butterfly, an owl, and um, a little fairy girl. And we just made a little tassel for the back. Since it's such a wide spine, I wanted to um, give it a little bit of something, since we didn't make the box out of this one, but we will make one. Um, and this would have been a very cute kit to make it with, and we might do it later. I'm using this same kit. We'll see. Um, I made this little pocket that I put on the front out of a uh, piece of Arabella's paper. And I just put some lines on it with just a black marker to make it look like stitched on there. And I took a piece of the um, lace and put across there just to give it a little nice look. And so I made a little pocket to put on there. That looks like a pocket and then I filled it with um, some of the flowers and just kind of stuck them down the stems down the pockets and uh, situated them the way I wanted them arranged them the way I wanted them and then glued each one of them down to the paper um, I think I missed a couple of them I did notice or the glue didn't get clear down I didn't hold it long enough or something but um, yeah I just glued the the flower part itself down so the stems are still loose inside the pocket which should work out fine we just put assorted colors because this is very colorful and i love that about it that it has so many different um colors and shades and stuff to it i just love that um but we're going to call this book our pocket full of posies so I just wanted to show you what I did to finish it up. Um, I did take the eyelet lace and put it around the edges. And instead of tapering it in the corner, I just let it kind of sweep around to make it look like it is um, a rounded corner book. Even though it is not, it still has the, the square edges in there. Um, but from the outside, it looks like a rounded corner. But then when you open it up, you can see that it is just a regular square edged page. But I just kind of like that nice sweeping motion of it. Um, and then, of course, we finished all the inside of the pockets and things like that. Um, I had debated on putting a booklet in here, and you can do that. Just put you a couple eyelets and your elastic to where you can take it in and out. Um, I like to do that. That way, um, they can be replaced, the, the little booklets in there. I always like to make my little booklets so you can uh, remove them and store them if you want. Because a lot of people like to keep those their journals forever and that gives them a way to do that easier and still be able to use the book um and I may do that later I just haven't done it to this one I just kind of ran out of time this week but yeah just put you a couple eyelets in there um as close to the edges as you can and still have a stability and then make your book to fit in there um and then you can you know like I said remove it and put it back in or however you want to do it since this is such a large spine book you could actually do that um, in the middle of each one of these pages if you wanted to you could put one in there in the middle of each one of these and have several little journals inside there which would be a great idea um, and of course we just made the tassel and it was just made out of some ribbon um, and some yarns that I had, some like um, eyelet trim yarns, which I love that stuff. I love eyelet trim. And then the um, charms that are on them. And I do apologize that um, I don't know what happened to the video. I don't know if somebody called while I was doing it and it shut off and I didn't realize it or what happened, but um, it's gone. So, <laughs> but um, we will, uh, I will see you next week and hopefully we'll get everything, uh, back on track and we will be starting next, next week on Rebecca Walters, her kits, and, um, we'll have a promotional video of that 
and she will also be my YouTube promotion for the UCC this week. Um, I believe I messed up and she was last week too, but that's okay because I should have gotten to her kit last week and I didn't. So um, we're going to extend her into this week so I can get that, that going. So you guys have a great day. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like my videos. I appreciate that very much. You guys have a great, great day. Bye-bye.